before you begin, you must unlock the dies by removing the U bracket from the travel position. The U bracket is used to lock the dies in place while the machine is not being used or during shipping or movement of any type. To remove the U bracket, simply unclip and remove the locking pin and pull the U bracket straight up, then place it in the storage sleeve on the side of the table as shown. Please note, when the dies are unlocked from the travel position, they can be easily removed or knocked out of place. Therefore, whenever the machine is being transported, the dies must be locked in the travel position using the U bracket. Insert the threaded end of the fitting into the hole in the center of the bracket plate and fasten the nut onto the fitting. It is important to align the edge of the die to just below the lip on the fitting. Prior to inserting the cable, be sure to inspect the inside of the fitting for any foreign debris or defects to ensure that the cable can be inserted all the way into the fitting without obstruction. Be sure to mark an insertion depth of 6 inches on the cable prior to inserting the cable into the fitting. This ensures that the cable is able to be fully inserted into the fitting. To operate the machine, the switch must be moved from the off position to the remote position. This enables the remote to engage the pump. There are three marked positions on the hydraulic valve lever box as indicated by the white lines. With the handle in the far right position, the pump is in full pressure mode. With the handle aligned with the center white line, the valve is in a three-quarters open position. In order to prevent the machine from pulling too fast upon startup, the lever needs to be in this three-quarters open position. However, as soon as the machine has engaged, you can ease the lever back into the full position to the far right for the duration of the process. With the handle in the far left position, the pressure is in the off or release mode. Now we're ready to swage our fitting. First, place the switch to the remote position. Move the hydraulic lever to the three quarters position. Place the yellow wrench, which can be found on the sidearm of the table, into the nut located on the die plate as shown. While applying pressure to the wrench, you can now use the remote to engage the pump. Once the plate has begun to pull the fitting, you will need to move the hydraulic lever into the full position. After you have engaged the pump into the full position, you may now remove the wrench while the machine completes the process. Once the process is completed, rotate the dies open and move the hydraulic lever to the release position. This will allow you to remove the completed fitting. Note, after running the fitting through the dies once, you will see a ridge form on the edge. This is normal and only one pass is needed. The total process start to finish should take about 30 seconds. If you have any questions, please call the Gibraltar offices at 1-800-495-8957.